Our goal in the Spanish 2 classroom is to provide students with the opportunity to grasp a working knowledge of the Spanish language and culture. We want the students to leave the classroom feeling confident that they can take what they've learned in the class and use it in their everyday real lives. At the Spanish 2 level, we work to increase proficiency in all the skill areas of a language, which are speaking, reading, writing, and comprehension. We also realize that not all students learn in the same manner, and we pride ourselves in the array of activities that we offer in order to reach all types of learners. We provide activities that reach the auditory learner, the visual learner, and even the bodily kinesthetic learner so that all students are able to better learn concepts in both grammar and vocabulary and are able to succeed in the language. The goal of this video then is to give you a quick glimpse into the Spanish 2 classroom where you're able, able to see the different types of activities that help all different language learners succeed at Spanish in a basic level course. This first activity that you see here is an excellent, excellent example of what we do in the classroom um, to really enforce communication skills. This is a role play where students need to walk around the classroom and pretend that they're actually in an open air market. It reinforces vocab but also communication skills at the same time drawing in a lot of bodily kinesthetic type of activities where students can manipulate the, ma the materials, walk around the classroom and just pretend that they're in a real situation. This activity practices vocabulary in both a visual and also a bodily kinesthetic manner. The students really enjoy this activity because it, it's not only competitive, but it gets everyone involved, not just the students at the board, but the students in their seat. Um, because everybody's busy looking for the word, and every once in a while I will uh, call a word that's not up on the board, and everyone's busy looking for it, and nobody can find it, and then I say, sure enough, yeah, it's not there. Um, so it really involves m all the students so that they are able to look for the vocab word. An activity like this one is very beneficial in the in language acquisition because it forces the students to work on many different skills all at once. This activity is working on speaking and listening and writing all at the same time. The students are required to go around and ask as many people in the classroom as they can um, a variety of questions. They need to ask them in the, in the you form, how are you today? The students reply in the I form, I'm fine, thank you and they have to write down the student's answer in the he-she form. He or she is doing fine. So they practice not only three forms of the verb, but they also practice many language skills at the same time. <laughs> students always enjoy um, kind of showing off their talents. They enjoy getting up in front of class and, and doing different things. And this is an activity that allows the students to kind of bring in both grammar and vocabulary at the same time. One student acts out what is going on and another student um, explains to the class what is going on, practicing a present progressive tense. And then they also draw on the rest of the class, which makes the rest of the class pay attention and learn the grammar concept as well because then they have to answer um, what is so-and-so doing in the front of the classroom. So this is an activity, again, that brings in many different types of learners, but also hits different acquisition skills. In a basic Spanish 2 class, it's very important to work not only on communication skills, but also on the grammar skills. The use of wipe-off words permits students to get immediate feedback as to whether or not they're properly learning the material. And it's also a safe way to be able to fix mistakes, for the students to fix what they can see the other kids have done, they, they see that they've done something wrong, they can fix that without the teacher calling, them, calling on them and putting one person on the spot when they're answering a question. And more than that, it's just a really fun way to practice grammar. Who doesn't like writing on a wipe-off board and erasing and putting smiley faces, and the kids have a really fun time with this. Excelente chicos y aquí
Using manipulables like wipe-off boards and dice really helps students focus on the task at hand. We use the dice in the classroom to once again practice things like grammar. The students are given, given two sets of die, a colored die and a white die, and they roll the die and they have to match up the numbers with numbers on the board. So number one maybe means they have to conjugate the verb hacer, two might mean they have to conjugate it in the yo form. So they roll the dice, they conjugate the verb in the proper form, and it's a competition and they get to play with something but at the same time practice getting the right form of the verb. <laughs> this is a terrific little activity that we learned from a professional development workshop that we attended last year. Here students are practicing both vocab and grammar at the same time and are doing so in a variety of ways. They're drawing, labeling, and writing. In the first step, the students draw every new vocab word, verb, or phrase being taught in the new chapter. In the second step, they move to a new paper and label in Spanish what a different group drew. And then in the third step, they'll go to yet another new paper on the wall, and this time they'll write a whole sentence for each labeled drawing. And in the final step, the students will return to their original drawings and they correct any mistakes on their paper made by other groups that visited their specific paper. This activity is especially <laughs> effective because students are able to learn and practice new material with their peers instead of just with their teacher, where peers may be able to re-explain something to a friend that they may not have understood in class. Even more than that, it allows students to teach each other, and we all know that teaching is most often the best way to learn. No, esto es el burro. Es un codo. Es un codo. Un hombro. ¿Qué es? Sí, ¿qué es? Dedo de pie. Dedo de pie. Oh.